okay these are the couple of issues let me show you the first one is item validation organization is not defaulting for the PO line it's very simple if you go to inventory and it, it is as a part of setup you are going to define the locations when you are going for locations okay you are going to define the locations here this is the navigation where you are going to define the locations if you go for any location let us let us see I am discussing, discussing the first issue item validation organization is not defaulting for the PO lines you take any location my location is let me take for Utah okay this is talking about we are talking about organization is not assigned to this org, this location this location can be used in the purchase order but if you are not assigning this organization this is these are all inventory organizations warehouses these are all warehouses like Seattle manufacturing Detroit organization like we have in the in the vision instance you have the list of organizations right so those organizations will be coming here only thing is if you are not mentioning of course even though it is a optional one it's an op optional one if you are not mentioning it will not be defaulted this location whenever you are selecting in the PO the default organization will not be this organization it will be master organization what is master every item to be defined in the master first then you are going to assign to the organizations and specific to that organization you are going to the attributes and you are changing all the attributes that is the basic of inventory basics of inventory as a part of basics of inventory I gave you the theoretical class I think uh, Kirti Madam might have shown you the inventory classes how it has in the classes how to define the item how to assign to organization how to update the attributes all those things this is one issue these are all real-time issues okay it will be helpful why because whenever you attend the interviews they ask the question can you tell me some of the issues you faced in the purchasing so these are the issues some of the issues so that is the first one quantity becomes zero on PO lines once PO lines are finally closed if you see any PO which is approved status okay go to PO In the PO summary, I'm going to show you the status, the one which is approved. Let me show you. let me open meanwhile let me open the production instance okay this is actual instance the client will be using Okay. Still it is searching. Okay. In the production, like this is the production instance, this is the actual instance uh, will be used by clients, users. I can search by status. Clear. I want the PO to be and which has been approved 
also created during the month of this month okay I want this month okay here I got the <coughs> PO details okay now you take any PO this is the PO number open okay now see we have here tools cancel if you want to cancel the PO okay here the see the issue like quantity becomes zero when PO lines once PO line is closed finally closed this is standard oracle behavior that if the quantity neither billed nor received and the final close perform then the quantity will become zero here in this instance the quantity becomes zero if this PO has been closed how we are going to close okay here we have preferences okay okay we have cancel this is another issue let me let me show you okay see for approved PO cannot be cancelled in the control options cancel button is not visible it should be visible basically if you go to here cancel should be visible but if it is not visible sometimes it is a kind of bug it is a kind of bug everyone faces this situation like whenever you get a problem like why this cancel is not appearing here if this is the case then you have to change something to the approved, approved PO approved PO you can change something if you change the quantity or price then it requires reapproval it changes to reapproval when you, you reapproval again after getting the approval definitely it will be visible here this cancel should be visible here that's what the fourth last issue was talking about okay upload PO cannot be cancelled in control options cancel button is not visible why it is not visible okay so sometimes you face this situation then what do you have to do you have to do something little changes in PO so that PO requires reapproval then you have to go for reapproval and get the reapproval and after that go to tools you can see the scans okay we have this is one okay now I want not only I want to see the POs now which are created during the dates of you know first of this April to 19th of April let me see okay we got it here like let me see the status okay these are all approved okay see this is called reapproval requires for any PO which requires reapproval then it will be showing like this okay requires reapproval and you can see this requires reapproval where it is lying you can see the action histories okay if you see the action history it will show you where it is lying for approval this is what in the purchasing approval hierarchies 
we have this is the hierarchy as per the hierarchy the first person this person has forwarded to winter and that guy has approved and it has gone to you know again he, he would request some details so he requested again it has come back to this guy the same guy who has created again he has forwarded to winter and he's going to approve he approved already but it requires because after approval he changed something this user has changed something then it becomes a request re approval and this approve button is enabled so you have to click on approve and get the approval for this view okay and i will show you this uh, finally closed option should come here for other than pivo which has been approved okay here you will get see when you try to cancel okay this is the action actually in this actions you can see finally closed or reopen or close those options will be coming here in case you are cancelling so this is the procedure you have to cancel and click ok ok I am not doing this is production actually I am going to show you ok now another one getting error foreign currency in the PO distributions any PO which has been approved okay if you open any PO which has been approved in the distributions if it is the PO we have shipments and in the distributions okay here you can see recovery rate so whenever you are having multi currencies installed and definitely it will it would require the rate also in case we you are having a foreign currency PO then you would require the rates okay then you have to enter the mandatory fields okay this is what it is talking about okay then PO is not visible in correction form PO should be approved status in order to get visible in the correction form see corrections what happened to corrections like corrections you will be doing when you received something wrongly wrong quantity let us say pivot quantity is 100 and you are going to receive 120 that means you made a receipt by performing receiving transaction let us say in the receiving let me do in the train instance okay you can take any pivot This is what receiving first you are making receipt then you are doing the receiving transaction when you make a receipt if you make a receipt with a wrong quantity if the PO is meant for 100 items and you are going to make you are going to make for 120 item that means it is wrong right so if you enter and is there anything to be received if you, something some quantity is there to receive this PO is approved already and against this PO you might have received already the quantity so it is not coming with the results simply if you delete this and if you have some PO's against which you want to receive it okay fine no records this for this PO also there are no records Okay, anything you want to receive, let us go to here in this production instance. Okay, anything you want to receive, you have to receive against PO. You have to enter the PO against any approved PO. These are all POs. Okay, this is the receipt number you will be generating and these are the lines to be received. Okay, this is the quantity. In case this quantity instead of 10 you might have entered 100. 
then you saved and you might have got the header details like receipt number. That means now you can realize that instead of 10 you entered 100, that 100 to be changed to 10 again. That's where you do corrections. For doing corrections, the question is here, the approved PO cannot be, sorry, PO is not visible in the corrections form. Why? Because PO is not approved. Only approved POs can be seen in the corrections form. That is the issue here. Okay. Here only you can see in the corrections. After this, you, you might have entered the receipt wrongly. So that correction you can do from here. Against any receipt number, the receipt you made for 10, 100 quantities instead of 10 quantities, you have to enter here and find and change that quantity 100, 100 to 10. That's it. That is how you have to do. This is the corrections form. Okay, simply you want to find something. Let us see. Okay, now what happened? Let us say, this first line is meant for the receipt that you made in the previous step. Okay, here you can see the receipt number and PO number. Against this receipt, you are supposed to receive the parent quantity is 2204. But instead of 2204, you might have done for 3000. Then you have to enter the right quantity here. That means you can enter minus, instead of 2204, you might have entered 3000. Then you can enter here minus 700, 780 that you can enter here. That's it. Like remaining quantity. This is how the correction form. But in the correction form, you are unable to see some POs. Why? That PO might have not approved. Only approved POs can be seen in the corrections form. That is what here it is showing. Okay. Now, these are the issues like. Then coming to real time. Because I am going to do for tomorrow the cycle counting. I want to show you in the real time how it has how it has to be. Cycle counting will be performed. See, first of, first of all, I have to get the file from user. What is the file I am getting? So this is the way I use it to get the I use it to get the file from the users. How? Let us see. Here, cycle counting user activities. This is the file I got. Sorry. This is not the file. I want data. Okay, now. Yeah, Sky cycle counting schedule. This is what? Cycle counting schedule. We use it to get like this, you know. These are NCD and these are all organization codes, okay. W, O, 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 H, D, N, C, D. These are all organization code like M1, M2, D1, D2. That is there in the vision instance. Okay. I used to get like this. Okay. The first sheet, it talks, you know, is it talks about like what are the warehouse classes, you know. In the cycle counter, cycle counting, Kirti Madam might have told you, the first one is what is the difference between cycle counting and physical counting. We have cycle counting in which ABC analysis is mandatory and what is ABC analysis? You are classifying the items A class, B class, C class or first you know here they class they mentioned first class, second class, third class first means A class, second means B class, third means C class okay and there are certain dates quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4 this is like you know this is the Excel sheet this is how we would like to schedule certain items, items which are coming under class A, class B, class C. This is the dates, these are the dates we have to. Okay, so as per the organization, we have given the names also with the organization codes. If the organization, like this is the schedule we used to get in the sheet one, then details. In the details, you know, this is the, this is the cycle counting names actually. These are all cycle count names. And this is how they want the cycle count names. They will be giving this Excel file like this. Okay. We would like to have for, this is the CAD organization, California organization, Florida organization. Okay. So like the Texas, Texas, you know, organization. Like that we have many. In which they would like to have three, three for this organization, they would like to have three cycle counting names. Okay. And each, 
H1. So there is validity from which date? From this date. Okay. And this plan from which date? This date. Okay. They will give all the details. And what are the counting method? Is it physical counting or cycle counting? You are doing some adjustment, right? So whenever you are doing the adjustment, some account should be entered because you are making counting and some item quantity is 100 in the system, but that is wrong. Instead of 50, it was it was 100 in the system. Then you are going to make that 100 to 50. That means you are reducing the inventory. Means a negative value will be going to the inventory material account and positive value should be going to which account? That account, adjustment account will be given here. This is the account combination. Segment combination they will be giving. This is how we use it to get the data for cycle counting. In the sheet, in the sheet 3, okay, they give in the month of you know, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, month wise and which organization to be scheduled by what date they are going to mention. This is this is what? Fourth month, sixth date. Fourth month, thirteenth date. Now the date is nineteenth. I would like to see somewhere anything anything has to be scheduled by fourth month nineteenth. Let me check. Fourth month nineteenth. Okay. Anything is there? Let us see. Fourth month yeah. Fourth month. 20th means tomorrow. In US it is tomorrow. So I have to schedule this. Definitely. At the same time, anything else? Yeah, this is also. Let me first of all highlight. Highlight that. Those lines like I want to highlight also. And fourth month. It is fourth month. Okay, 20th. This is one. I want to highlight. I want to highlight with uh, Okay, green. Okay, fourth month twentieth. I want to check. I want to check. Anything is there? Fourth month twentieth has been scheduled. Let me check. Nothing here. Nothing is there. Fourth month. It is next week. Twenty. This is next week. I don't want by tomorrow. So let me scroll down. Anything is there? Fourth month or April. Fourth month. Only one is there right now. Nothing. So we have only one. Okay. That one let us take and do it. This is for CAD. This is for California Distribution Center. And items are a item means class 1 okay then by tomorrow it has to be scheduled how it has to be scheduled let me show you okay in the production okay now I'm going to inventory cycle counting counting cycle counting cycle counts open cycle counts it is asking organization as per the file I want for I want for CAD means California Distribution Center. So let us open California Distribution Center. CAD. Okay. Now, <clears throat> then for CAD, for CAD, what are the plans? You can F11, control F11. <coughs> Excuse me. These are the Cycle counts we already created as per this file. As per this file. Because in the details we can see the names. Already we defined all these plans. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 1 for class A, 2 for class B, 3 for class C. Okay. Now. It was, you know, the Excel sheet is talking about. Excel sheet is talking about. Sorry. Excel sheet is talking about. This we are talking about this schedule by tomorrow. California organization, but A class. Let us go to A class. What is A class? Class 1. Okay. Already we define as per their Excel file, the schedule date, next schedule date, if you open this this cycle counting, you, the next schedule is, see, 20th April. This is what it is talking about. So in the Excel sheet, as per the Excel sheet, we already scheduled. Means when you define the class 1, I mean class A, 
cycle counting there you have given next schedule by this file by keeping this file this file you will be getting before three months or four months so as per this date you know we give next date as fourth fourth month 20th that's what you are mentioning here as per that it will be coming here but you have to schedule it how to schedule it okay now go to tools go to tools and after that see perform full cycle count I want to schedule I want to use this cycle account and as per the schedule given by the user I want to schedule it by for tomorrow for tomorrow not by today I can do it by today also Sunday it is but sometimes you know in the manufacturing industry you will be having shifts and the shifts even Sunday they'll be working in the midnight so it's always you have to go by schedule so I'm not going to run now it has to be run by tomorrow in the morning 6 o'clock before the first shift people first, pe first shift people they'll be coming by 6 o'clock that means in the night also by this time some somebody might have, might be working so whatever the work he does he complete way in the morning 6 o'clock by that time whatever the quantity that has to be updated and will be shown to the user the user who works on cycle counting should be updating the quantity right so while updating the quantity it is, is the quantity in the system if that is wrong as per the physical quantity then he will be correcting so by that time means morning six o'clock I am going to schedule this request how do how to schedule the request let us see this is real time system this is actual production I am going to so I am supposed to work on this because in this, this is production I have to schedule it if I am not scheduling this in the morning the user approaches the office approaches to office and he asks boss there is no result there are no results to update in the cycle counting by today as per the schedule I have given the schedule for today but you have, there is no result can you check it out this is the issue they will rise so I have to react now so how to react it has to be scheduled by today but run should be run by morning 6 o'clock how to schedule I am showing perform full cycle count this is concurrent request it is a request set whereas perform full cycle count will have three requests one is generate automatic schedule requests second one generate cycle count requests third one cycle count listing okay now we have to run the parameters you have to enter the first parameter all cycle counts no I want only one cycle count what is the cycle count name this is the cycle count name copy it go to tools perform full cycle count okay now enter the parameters all cycle count no I want only one cycle count. This is the cycle count. Click OK. OK, now next one. This is parameters for first request. For second, all cycle count? No. For this cycle count only. Yes. Then third request. Cycle count name you have to enter. Then start date. Start date by 20th, not by 19th, right? It should be 20th. As per the schedule, Excel sheet it should be 20th only okay now include recounts only no sub inventory of course no need to enter because it will take care of cycle count because cycle count will be done by sub inventory you might have entered sub inventory or all sub inventory so it will take care no need to then display serial numbers yes and display on hand quantity I want yes on hand quantities means as per the system what is on hand quantity if that quantity is wrong as per the physical quantity that an user has seen the physical quantity and if that quantity is showing 200 and system quantity is showing 100 that 100 has to be changed to 200 but that means he is going to increase the quantity okay now this is how it is going to be now click OK now all the parameters have been entered but if you submit now it is supposed to be run in the morning but why are you submitting right now so it has to be scheduled so schedule for tomorrow how to schedule there is a button click as soon as possible no 
it should be periodically when it has to be tomorrow by 6 o'clock in the morning I want so enter the date by 28th 6 o'clock in the morning click OK then end by end by 20th itself by 6 <coughs> Around it takes 15 minutes or 20 minutes. So let me end it by 15 minutes a.m. in the morning. Click OK. That's it. OK. Now, periodically, that's it. Over. It has been scheduled. And you can schedule by once also because I want not periodically. I want by once only. That should be by in the morning. 20th morning 6 o'clock I want to run it may take half an hour or 20 minutes or 15 minutes or 3 hours let it run by 6 o'clock in the morning and complete the request and get the results ready that's it click OK then what happens submit submit request has been submitted okay so what is that request view request find out that's it it will be running. It is scheduled. Have you seen this? The moment the system time reaches to, this system time means server time. It's not my laptop time. It is server time. Oracle application works on server, right? Server will be having time. What is the time? The time when reaches to 6 o'clock. That's it. It keeps running and will be completed within 10 to 15 minutes and gets ready with all the results. Cycle count. Then what happens? After completing this, then in the morning what happens? You know, user comes to the office then he opens his system then directly you'll go to cycle counting and the cycle counting cycle counting entries he'll open this he checks for the cycle count he calls the item it will show you all the items here what the quantity and everything if that quantity is correct fine if it, that quantity is not correct you will change that quantity and save the record that's it over this is the activity and after that whenever he does then after that he has to approve okay he has to approve whatever the results you entered earlier in the initial form that will be coming here you have to approve or reject once it has been approved that's it okay you save the record then it goes to the adjustment account that has been given in the cycle count every cycle count already you have given right if you open cycle count I will show you okay this is the adjustment account you have given already I was so I am working on this let me open this already have given this that's it as per the excel sheet only you have given that okay as per the details these accounts have been given that's it over this is what the real time cycle account how it works okay now I scheduled production let me come out of this over now close this I don't want to work on this close this production my work is over now close the production instance now log out let us work on our train instance back to train instance okay i have another instance i can open another instance that is a support instance this is training inst instant let me open support instance as well Shivai, you can mute from your side, please. Now. Hey. okay now let us back to let's come back to our order management this is what you have any questions let me know okay going back to our tie our tries 
this is what we have done in the last class okay okay go into order management okay now <coughs> let us open the orders what is the order you created long last time i think this is the order you have created system is slow Okay, you got it. Now take the order number. F eleven. system is too slow today okay this is the order going to lens okay this item is have seen the status it is picked parcel what does it mean out of total quantity what is the quantity this is the quantity out of these many rolls some quant some rolls have been pick released but remaining rolls have not been pick released okay now let us see let us work on this order and what are the quantities have been picked and what are the quantities have not been picked let us work on the lines which are not picked okay picked parcel picked parcel okay now these are the rolls unit of measure this much is the quantity okay this is the price now take this order control c go to items see the address it is from utt organization okay now go to shipping transactions order number fine see partial picked why it is showing partial picked you know there the sales order line status is partial picked but some items ready to release next step is pick release means this lines quantity what is the quantity let us let us see why it is showing there it is showing for it is showing 127 why because there you entered rolls here it is showing yards it is primary unit of measure there you entered 
selling unit of measures. You are selling the item in the rolls, but each roll will be having multiple yards. And how many yards here? So totally 129.3, whereas the lines, two, two yards are ready for shipping. Okay? And whereas these many items are ready for picking and these lines are ready for shipping next step see these very these are very important these statuses are very important you have to remember what is the sales order line status at that stage what is the line status of shipping transaction lines you should be able to tell both these statuses the line status will be ready to release next step will be pick release line status is staged and pick confirmed and next step is ship confirmed okay now ready to release you can work on this if you work on if you work on this, next step is ship, ship confirm. How to do the ship confirm? First of all, you have to make a delivery. Right? So if you want to make a delivery, what do you have to do? Auto create delivery. Auto create deliveries. Okay, this is the delivery number. Whereas, if you see the quantity, requested quantity, shipped quantity. Okay, shipped quantity means you are going to ship it. No changes. Okay, now I want to pick release this line. I have one more method to show you to pick release the items against a sales order. I have the sales art and you are doing pick release by going to actions launch pick release right and go and as per the document set as per the document set the reports assigned to the document set will be running and you have to refresh once completed you can come back to the lines see the updated status if it is ready for staged and pick confirm and next, next step is pick ship confirm then you can ship it by making a delivery if it is not staged and pick confirm, instead release to warehouse and next step is transact move order. Then what do you have to do? You have to switch responsibility to the inventory by taking the move order number, enter the move order number, find the move order, allocate the lines, then transact the items so that the item will be transferred to staging subunitary. That's what we call it as staging or pick release. Pick release is the functionality to create a move order which is nothing but a request to the store and based on the request to the store, the store people will transfer the material to the staging sub inventory. This is what pick release. Now, here, this is the item and the next step is pick release. But I am not going to do pick release from here, but I have another method. Let me show you. I have taken the order number. Release sales order. Release sales order. Okay. Based on the rule. See, this is another method of pick releasing the lines which are eligible. How to? Based on the release rule. What is the release rule? It is based on Utah. Utah release rule. Let me check. Yes. UTD. Release rule. All pick release document this is the document set if you see this document set in the setup if you copy this and you check the documents assigned to this there are certain report names assigned to this document set okay and order number I will enter my order number okay that's it and after that go to shipping tab okay auto pick confirm yes I don't want to do transact move order if you want that then you can select yes auto pick confirm then then what else? And you want to create delivery also? I don't want ship confirm. It should be ready for ship confirm. If you want to do the ship confirm also within one shot, yes, you can select the ship confirm rule. You can by using this functional release sales order. You can ship, you can pick the line, transact the move order line and get the lines ready for shipping and you can ship also with one shot by clicking concurrent. Picking will be done. Move order will be generated, transact move order will be done, delivery creation will be done, like I, I'm telling you, delivery number will be done, 
See? <coughs> auto create delivery criteria across the orders. Auto create. If you say auto create, yes. Delivery should be auto created. Auto create delivery, yes. That's it over. Delivery will be created. Then the next step is ship confirm. If you assign ship confirm rule based on which the ship confirm should happen, then inventory. From which sub inventory, sub -inventory item to be picked? If you if you leave it blank, what are the sub inventory which is having the quantity of this particular item will be picked and shipped. That's it over. The first stage sub inventory you have to enter here. Then concurrent, click on that. I'm going to do that now. Okay, now this is the line. Shipping. Auto grade deliveries. Yes. Auto pick confirm. Yes, I want. I want I don't want to ship confirm. Okay. I don't want to ship confirm. Okay. If you want to ship confirm, yes, you can select the ship confirm rule like this. This is the ship confirm rule. Okay. Now, then what happens? Let us auto pack. We want to packing. Definitely. Happen deliveries. In case some parcel quantity has been shipped and you want remaining quantity with the another delivery number, you can put yes. Okay. Now, go to inventory. Which warehouse? UTD. So picking, you know, I told you, pick release will be done automatically means pick slip grouping rule, which rule has to be? There is a rule defined with this name. Okay. Then auto allocate, yes. That's what transact move order you are doing by allocating, right? If you keep yes, then what happens? It is doing automatic transaction. So automatically the transaction will be done. Transact move order will be done. Okay. Let us see now. Concurrent. Request has been submitted. Now let us see. View. View. Request. Fine. It is running. Refresh. It's nothing but pick release. Have you seen that? There you can select the launch pick release and click on go. The same thing can be done from here also. Release sales order is the functionality where Based on the selection of the rules and document sets, we can do pick release and ship confirm within one shot. That is the beauty of using release sales order form. This release sales order form by using this can be done both pick release, transact move order, then ship confirm within one shot. Okay, with one shot. Let me refresh this. Okay, see, these are why we are running, system is running multiple reports. As per the document set, what are the reports assigned to that document set? All the reports will be running now. Okay, you have, sele you have selected ship confirm rule also. Let us see what happens. Okay, now see, I hope all the lines because you have selected ship confirm rule also, it has been picked, transact move order has been done.
delivery number has been assigned then ship confirm is done so that was the reason these many records are running interface trip stop is also running so let us see the status in the by going to the lines I have taken the order number close it go to shipping transaction lines order number fine see only one line is available what about remaining lines that has been shipped earlier it was showing two lines now it is showing something else have you got it so that's what happens like if you want to show you all the lines then select the lines which are with different statuses see only one line except one line okay this is shipped run interfaces sometimes what happens you know this is support issue now sometimes line status is shipped instead of interfaced which status is final is it shipped or interfaced always remember the interface is the final status ship days before running the interfaces have you seen this next step not applicable whereas here run interfaces if you want to run interfaces how to run take the delivery number how to run manually let us run the interfaces interfaces run single request okay interface here I want to run interface trip stop for the delivery I have taken just now this is the delivery click OK okay if this delivery is not there and it is not eligible for that okay now parameters organization I want all the lines which are eligible for interface let us run it submit no we request fine so warning what is the warning you can see the error messages or any exceptions you can see in the log okay what is the message let us see here go to tools copy file you will get it you will get it here in the HTML form this is the exception okay no delivery detail found so that means let us see no delivery detail found means nothing is eligible for shipping now let us see shipping transaction form the order number is find only one line let me check all the lines you got it earlier I was system was showing one line which is eligible for running interfaces have you seen that now everything has been interfaced have you seen this so this is what the difference earlier and now now you want to ship it these lines I told you in the previous class we are going to discuss one particular form what is that form next step is ship confirm and this is the delivery number this is the order number okay now go to delivery tab while ship confirm while doing ship confirm this form is very important based on which ship confirm rule and which document set which reports to be run you have to select the report okay I want all the reports to be run at the time of ship confirm select that okay now see what are the requests running at the time of ship confirm we have seen bill of lading commercial invoice vehicle load sheet details then interface trip stop then commercial invoice okay we have seen just now right so what are the requests running it is based on these attributes have you seen here create bill of lading if you uncheck or check if you uncheck okay then what happens create bill of lading if you select it will create it will run the bill of lading different interface means what have you seen earlier in the lines one line is having shipped not interfaced 
If you don't want interface, you want shipped status only, then you have to select differ interface. See, if you uncheck, means you are not differing. If you check, you are differing. Means, by default, by default interface happens. If you want to differ, you have to check it. Now let us see, I am doing ship confirm for this line. Whether this runs, this, this fun, ship confirm will run with interface trip stop or without interface trip stop. Let us see. Close trip. This is trip actually. So you will be having picking, picking location and dropping location. If you are picking some item from Hyderabad to Vijayawada, then you have to pick from Hyderabad, drop at Vijayawada. And we have the concept. Trip stop, we call it as. What is trip stop? It is very important question. It is very important question. What is trip stop? This line having a delivery number. And what are the documents to be run? We have selected. And when it has to be? And all the lines to be shipped? Yes. Ship all. You have selected by default. It is coming from ship confirm rule. And you want you don't want ship all. You know, you don't want shipping all items. Then you have to select ship and to quantities. Means, ship all means this line might be having quantity of two. Ship all means two items will be shipped. Ship enter to quantities means there is another field. See? The lines, if you come to here, this is called entered quantities. This is called unspecified quantities. If you, two is the quantity has been requested, now you are shipping only one. If you enter one here, by default, remaining one will be back ordered. And you don't want back order, then you make it zero. Okay, you make it zero. Then try to ship confirm from the delivery. Then what happens? Ship entered quantities means you entered only one to, sh to be shipped. Unspecified is nothing but you mentioned back order quantity zero. Means unspecified is also one. That has to be shipped or back order or stage. I want stage means it the line will remain with the same status with one quantity. Okay? for which you have to perform the next step as ship confirm. Sometimes what happens, you know? Cycle count. Why? For this item, you came to this level. Why? Because you are about to ship the item to the customer. Means this item quantity is existing in the inventory. Thinking that there is a quantity and you made a, de you made a delivery. And now you are going to ship the item to the customer. But as per the delivery, the inventory guys are loading the vehicle with the vehicle with the items but at that point of time the delivery guy who loads the vehicle with the items he could able to see there is no physical quantity existing for this item when there is no physical quantity existing for an item how can you ship it no that means system quantity might be wrong then you have to initiate cycle counting for that particular item. You can do it from here itself for unspecified quantities because you think that two items are there. You are going to prepare but only one item is there. Then you can make the shipment for one item and for the remaining one quantity you can initiate the cycle count because there is no actual one quantity. It is zero quantity but you have to find the actual quantity to be corrected. Then you have to initiate the cycle count for that particular item. Then proceed further. This is the importance of this particular radio button. We call it as radio button. Ship all means, of course, whether you entered one or not two or you entered one or two or anything. Ship all means what are the quantity? All the quantities will be shipped. Backout, backout all means, of course, you might have received this item to staged level. Means you received this item to staging sub inventory. Still, you don't want to ship it. Yes, you can back order. What happens? Back order. Item will not be back to main sub inventory. It will be there in the staging sub inventory only. But back order means what happens, you know? The status becomes back to, you know, it, it comes back to initial status. What is the initial status? The moment you book the sales order, line status, line status changes to awaiting shipping. When awaiting shipping, what is the line status of the shipping transaction line? It is ready to release. Next step is pick release. So back to initial status means it is again ready for pick release. Even though you made a delivery means 
you have staged the item to the staging step inventory. Means you have created a move order. Against that move order, you have been, that has been transacted. Now item has been transferred from staging sub inventory. Now you are doing back order. Means it will go back to the previous status. That is, next step is pick release. That's what back order all. Cycle count all. What are the quantity you are not shipping anything? Cycle count all means whatever the items you selected here offer all those items. So you will be initiating cycle count. You can see the cycle count results in the. I show you, I have shown in the initial form what is cycle count. I have shown cycle count entries will be ready for that particular item that is there here in the lines. Okay, now sometimes what happens? Ship entered quantities here. The line quantity is two. You entered only one in the shipped quantities, and remaining one you didn't enter in the back order. Back order you entered zero. That means as per the system, ship entered quantity means one has to be shipped, and remaining one to be you have to select here stage. When you select remaining quantities to be staged, should I create delivery number for this line in a stage out of two, one is going to be shipped. Another one will be available here, right? For that, new delivery should be created. Should I create? Then you have to select this checkbox. Okay? Now, this is actual deposit date. Set delivery in transit. What is in transit? In transit means you might have shipped the item to the customer. But customer not receive. Customer has not received the item physically. It is on the way. It is on the way. So item is coming on the coming with the vehicle. So vehicle is on the way. It might have crossed the organization, but it has not reached to the customer location. Okay. So that's what. So delivery in transit. That means if you make it in transit, after receiving a call from the customer saying that customer has received the item, then you are going here and open status is there that has to be closed. It will be in transit when you select this. Then it will be closed when you close from actions, close the trip. Okay. But what is trip stop? Okay. But for that, we have to go back. Go to lines. Now, path by stops, path by trip, have you seen here, okay, this is the line, okay, now path by trip, trip is nothing but, I will tell you, we want to ship the item from Hyderabad to Sakapatno, okay. Your shipping organization is there at Vishakhapatnam, sorry, at Hyderabad. Now, your organization is trying to ship the item from Hyderabad to Vishakhapatnam. So, there is a vehicle from the customer. We are loading as per the delivery. We have loaded. But we have another delivery to be delivered at Vijayawada. But my trip can accommodate that. Why? My vehicle, anyway it is going to Sakapatno. Why can't you send the items which are to be dropped at Vijayawada? Do you require another vehicle to be carried? No. It is cost effective method. It is in the process, you know. Means the company which is there at Hyderabad wants to ship the item to Sakapatno. But at the same time, we have another delivery to be dropped at, dropped at Vizivada while going to Visakhapatnam. Now, here, my trips, my trip is Hyderabad to Visakhapatnam, whereas my stops are the first stop at Vizivada, drop some items, and remaining item, go to Visakhapatnam and drop. Means there are two stops, and we have one trip. That was the reason the delivery at Vijayawada might be having a different delivery number. But the delivery number to Visakhapatnam is another number. That means now you have to answer. Can I have two deliveries against one trip? Can I have two trips against one delivery? Which one is correct? The correct one is having two delivery numbers against one trip is possible. Trip is from Hyderabad to Visakhapatnam. 
will you have two trips to have one delivery no it's impossible there is no logic at all but two deliveries one delivery at vijayawada another delivery at visakhapatnam can be linked to one trip so that was the reason a trip can be one but deliveries can be multiple but in reverse it's incorrect it is wrong so you have to remember this sometimes interviewer will ask you what is trip stop having trip between two destinations okay before reaching to the final destination we have another destination where we have to drop some of the items the items to be delivered at one stop might be having a different delivery the items to be delivered at the final destination will be having another delivery so two deliveries can be include, included in one trip so that you can ship the item to the both the destinations in one trip this is what trip stop so when you have path by trip it will show you all the trips from hyderabad to visakhapatnam visakhapatnam to vijayawada or vijayawada to visakhapatnam you will see you know this form will show you all the details then path by stop where you are starting hyderabad to vijayawada vijayawada to visakhapatnam everything will be shown here i am going to show in the vision instance okay in the, this is real time system they don't have trips and stops so so they are not showing i will show you in another session i will start with vision instance okay so that i can discuss on path by trip and path by stop how you are going to generate the trip number how you are going to have multiple deliveries in one trip that's what i am going to show you okay now let us continue go to delivery ship confirm this form opens ship all yes i want but here create bill of lading different interface i want to select here document set to be run a ship confirm document set click okay enter way bill number i have to enter click delivery details this is the way bill number it is 3 0 4 19 2 2 15 19 2 15 okay well done do you want same changes yes now go to ship confirm different interface see different interface i have selected but default it should be unchecked what's happening in earlier transaction i didn't check this let us check what is the difference now select the document set my document set is ship confirm document set click okay okay you request fine see let us see all the reports are running bill of lading is running why you have selected that commercial invoice by default which is coming from the documents mailing label everything is label is there pack and slip report is there bill of lading commercial invoice pack and slip report everything is there but accept interface tip stop have you run interface tip stop earlier i ran because for one report we selected no for this transaction we selected different interface so interface is not running by default now if you see the status what happens you know it is closed but in the lines let us see what is the line status shipped have you got it run interfaces how to run interfaces run okay interface trip stop for a delivery you can take the delivery and enter here or always organization all the lines which are ready for interface do it submit no now go to shipping transaction form now let us see one One seven. Fine. All are shipped. Now you have to select here. I want to see all the statuses. Fine. Done. Over. Now let us see. Invoice has to be created. No orders. Let me see. Let me open the order number. One seven. Control F eleven. Lines. is it invoiced let us see awaiting fulfillment 
what's the background engine have you forgot inventory any line which is having a status other than closed it should be workflow background engine should be run with the parameters very important question process deferred yes process timeout no click ok submit no you request find complete it close it now let us open the sales order order management order number Sales order F eleven one zero 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 one seven control F eleven lines status now closed is it invoiced how to see right click additional information invoices got it. Invoice is generated. Two 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 seven three six. Invoice number. Now close it. Now this line. Let us see. Invoice. There is no invoice. Now let us see. How to run invoice? Switch responsibility to receivables. Then interfaces auto invoice. Click OK. Select the report. Invoice auto invoice master program. Invoice source. This is the invoice source. From and coming from order type. I have shown in the last class. Default date by today's date. What is the date? 19th. April 15. What is sales order number? 100017. 100017. Click OK. Submit. No. View request. Find it. Auto invoice master program is running now. Now let us see what happens. Refresh. This is master program. This is the child program. See, have you seen this? Parent number is as same as this. This is the child request we call it as. This is having a parent reference. This is as same as this report. Means this master program will run a child request that is called auto inverse import program. Because these lines are getting interfaced with the AR module. And in the AR module, that lines have to be imported to the AR module temp AR module tables, staging tables. Okay? So refresh it. Completed. Okay, one more thing I forgot to tell you. Here you completed this program. Have you seen the output? See, here you'll get a message. Successfully processed means invoice has been created. What is that invoice? Let us see. Switch responsibility to auto management. My order number. F eleven one zero 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 one seven control F eleven lines click the line right click additional information invoices created invoice details this is the invoice details Invoice number, order number, lines,
This is the line. How many items are available for invoice? These two lines are available. So invoice. This is one. This is the roll. This is the roll. 4.77 is the roll quantity. Price is this. Amount is this. That's it. Everything is done. And anything you want to see, distributions. What is distribution? I told you, right? What are the accounting entries at the time of shipping? Then at the time of invoice. Those are nothing but the distributions it will show you. Revenue. I told you, right? The moment you do the invoice, the revenue will be recognized. At the time of shipping, a credit goes to inventory material account. Debit goes to cost of goods sold. The moment you create an invoice, what happens? Your revenue is recognized, but you have not received the cash from the customer. Means, means there is due amount in the receivables. That means credit goes to receivables and debit goes to revenue. When you really receive the cash, then that time after receiving the cash, you make a receipt. The receipt should be applied against the invoice. Means customer has given the cash or check. The moment you receive it, you make a receipt and apply to the invoice. That's it. So your receivables will be showing zero. Means debit to receivables that becomes zero. So that clearance will happen. That's it. This is what order management. That's it for today. If you have any questions?